Right, you guys, for all you people that are wondering when Windows 11 version 23H2 will be delivered to you, you can actually get it right now. It's pretty straightforward. If you go to your Windows updates and get all of the latest updates, this will bring down all the latest updates that are available to you, and then you can go ahead and download the Windows Update Assistant, which will right now drop the Windows 11 version 23H2 onto your computer. You can see I've got 22H2 here. I've already received the Moments 4 update, and that is already installed on my system, which had all of those new features that we've covered on this channel. You might be thinking that 23H2 is going to be packed with new features just like the Moment 4 update, but unfortunately, there isn't much really that exciting about Windows 11 version 23H2. It's just to button up the whole Moment 4 update and finish it all off. But the Windows 11 version 23H2 is a pretty large update. Now, before we continue, I just want to have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Make sure you use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order. And then you can pay with PayPal. Once you've done that, they will send you your product key and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows and remove that annoying watermark. So let's go ahead and get this update installed on the system. So if you are itching to get your hands on the 23H2, then I've just shown you how to do it. It is quite a large update. It does take quite a while to download and install on the system. And there is another update here. As you can see, once you reboot the system, there will be this update that you need to install. And this will give you those couple of extra little features, which I will show you in this video. I'm not going to go through every single new feature on the Moments 4 and also the 23H2 because I've already covered that a couple of times in pre-release videos. So you can check some of those out if you want to. Now, for all those that are worried about uh, your settings will be reset, it doesn't reset group policy settings, as I've told you in the past. If you just toggle these on and off, it will reset all of these, and you'll have to go through this whole palaver of resetting these back to off again if you wanted to turn a lot of these features off. If you set these in group policy as off, they will not be reset and you won't have to go through all of that again. So make sure you set all those in your group policy editor. So one of the main updates for this one is the audio for your recordings on the snipping tool. If you wanted to say, for instance, record the screen with the snipping tool, you can do. And they've added some settings in here where you can also toggle this off here or toggle it on for your uh, microphone. We also have another area here which has been added, which is the co-creator, which is again to do with AI. I'm not going to go through this and sign in to show you because it's basically just creating images inside Microsoft Paint. They've already added in the layers and also the background remover uh, on this particular update on Moments 4. But this is the new Paint co-creator and this is an AI system, but you will need to be signed into a Microsoft account uh, to use this. Like the uh, Copilot, you have to be signed in to use that as well for doing creation work like this. You can ask it questions uh, on the Copilot without signing in, but if you want to do more creative stuff, you have to be signed in. The other feature is inside system here, and you can see right here just below the uh, remote desktop, you've got system components. And inside here, this is another area they've added in for this little update here on this section. There's nothing really much exciting about this update because they've already delivered this through the Moments 4, as I've already mentioned. So if you're expecting to see a lot of excitement on the 23H2 update, then you're going to be a bit disappointed. I have already created content on these uh, particular types of features that you're going to get in these. So check back on my catalog of videos and you should be able to see them. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Also have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.